Hello guys, it's definitely been a while but I am back with a decluttering video. This declutter was supposed to be for the end of 2023 but obviously we are slowly heading into May so this is going to sort of count as like a mid-year declutter but as you can see my room is very very cluttered. There's a lot of things just everywhere. This was honestly powered up from last year August September after my Japan trip and I just haven't had the time to obviously clean it up so I finally took some time off to get this all sorted out and I feel like I'm just in a better mindset now I literally just got back from Korea and I'm ready to like get back into uploading again for you guys I have a lot of exciting content that I want to film and I feel like this is just the perfect transition into a clear mind space so I always like to get started at one side of my room and work my way around so starting off with this trolley I'm actually getting rid of this trolley out of my room because I want to have more shelves where I have more storage because I was just needing more storage for my makeup and on this trolley I have a lot of hair accessories which I haven't really been gravitating towards anymore just because after getting my bangs I only do like one hairstyle and I only need ribbons um, I used to wear a lot of headbands and hair clips when I didn't have my bangs but now that I have my bangs I don't really use a lot of these hair accessories so I think a lot of these can just go into my closet um, and for certain looks I can bring them out but for my ribbons I'm gonna keep them on hand because this is really all I use but then we're moving on to my main vanity as you can see it's very just jumbled a lot of products here so we're taking everything off and wiping everything down dusting everything I'm just wiping like everything guys like this room can get so dusty because of all of the flyaways from the eyeshadows because I know what I use use every day I'm gonna have that on display more easy to access and stuff that I know that I don't use so frequently I can store away into a basket or into the drawers we're then gonna work on my top drawers so I have three the first top drawer is all of my base products so we have primers foundation concealer and powders this is all of my base which I feel like as a makeup reviewer content creator this is a pretty good amount and I definitely would like to keep it like this although I mentioned I did just get back from Korea so I bought a lot of cushions to try out but I feel like foundations I go through them fairly quickly enough so each category just sort of has their own compartment and then this one was really jumbled so this drawer is all of my eyes and lips so we're talking eyeliners eye glitters mascaras and then on the top right you will see my go-to like everyday type of lip colors and this was also getting a bit jumbled as well I don't know why I have so many mascaras so many eyebrow products products that I really don't need I really am trying to get through all of this one by one um, so I'm just having a little tidy up just categorizing everything into its own compartment I have a lot of glitters that I love and egg yourself contour products that I use and I actually do use this drawer like frequently like all of these products I do use quite a lot and then my last top drawer is my project pan drawer or like my everyday makeup drawer so this is the drawer that I actually go to the most now you can see that Charlotte Tilbury powder is not part of my project pan but it's something that I use every day so here's all of like my daily go-to products along with my sitting sprays and you guys I lose so much hair and it always gets tangled in my chair so I'm doing like a deep clean and getting all of that gunk out this was very satisfying for me to do and then I'm storing all of my beautiful flower nose mirrors into this beautiful flower nose box. I think it's a good way just to keep them all together. The next thing we're working on is my like little trolley that I have in front of me while I'm filming. This can also get a bit cluttered. I'm going to be saying cluttered a lot because my room is really genuinely so cluttered. So giving everything a wipe down and just displaying what I actually use every day. I feel like sometimes I put things on display thinking I'm going to use it but I really don't. I'm just going to put what's out that I actually use and also just breaking down my eye brushes because I feel like you know I do so many looks that certain brushes I might need for certain looks but I don't really end up using it so I'm really going through everything and like have I used this in the last six months if I have I'll keep it if not I will pass it on to my niece because she's slowly getting into makeup so a lot of the stuff that I don't use is actually really helpful and handy to her and don't forget to just wipe down all the mirrors and everything but we're now going to move on to like the floor section like you guys I had no space in my room to walk there was literally 
only a pathway to my filming chair and that was it so seeing the ground like seeing my carpet really just lifted so much off my shoulders but now we're working on my like top shelf i'm just rearranging things around just to have like a different setting i was playing with a few different setups just to give my room a different feel like a fresh start and you'll see at the end how much my room has definitely changed just because i need more space in this room and more storage that was my goal for this declutter this time around but now we're going to move on to the actual drawers the first one is my contact lenses and you guys i cannot believe i have a whole drawer full of contact lenses but trust me it really does complete a look so this drawer here is going to be all of my Olens contacts and then I'm gonna have the drawer right next to it of all of my other contact lens brands so like moody lenses or some Korean lenses that I have this is not as full as Olens but definitely it's still quite a lot and then I sort of made this spreadsheet of which drawers I want to categorize it in everything is kind of just swapping around so all I'm really doing I don't think I need to explain but I'm just taking everything out wiping everything down and then putting everything back in into their own categories so like I mentioned I was more focused on having more storage space because I feel like I was really running out of that space hence why there were so many things on the floor so if you guys watch any of my other decluttering videos or my makeup collection you will know that this one whole set of seven drawers has been dedicated to ColourPop for many many years and I'm still reviewing ColourPop but I'm not reviewing them as much as I used to and I definitely want to dive into more Asian makeup um, so it's time to let go of a lot of these products. A lot of these products I don't even touch or use anymore. Um, so they're going to be passed along to friends and family. My mom has a lot of friends that have young daughters that are really into makeup and they always look forward to my declutters to sort of go through everything and pick out what they want. I actually got rid of a lot of my ColourPop stuff. I think I went down from seven drawers to just three drawers of ColourPop, which is still a lot. But considering how many categories ColourPop does have, I think that was a good good cut down and I had to be really brutal which was hard for me because a lot of the ColourPop products are very sentimental that's really how I got my channel started so when I think of like a certain collection it really does take me back to a time so letting go of that was a bit hard but you know I had to just be brutal because there was just no space and I don't want to get another drawer I don't want to outgrow my room because I think that's just too excessive I want to stay in this like little room because I'm just only one person, this is already a lot of makeup, you know what I mean? I just want to keep into my means as much as I can. But with this new setup, I feel like I do have a lot of extra space for the rest of the year to bring in new makeup that I want to review, again, more Asian beauty. Um, a lot of these drawers are split up by brand or by K-beauty or J-beauty, you saw my little setup before. And I feel like after this ColourPop declutter, I do feel a bit more refreshed in my mind and I know what's in my collection and I think I have a good variety I think for a long time you know like you can see all these palettes I just had so many that I really wasn't using thinking I was going to use it for comparisons but but I think my content is just growing to what I like now and this is my skincare drawer which I also have a lot too so when I actually went Korea I didn't buy a lot of skincare because I knew I just had a lot to go through so I'm sort of categorizing everything here as well from cleanser to toner to serum essence moisturizer sun sunscreen, body cream, you know the drill, um, just honestly playing Tetris here. You can see this is the ColourPop decluttered. I essentially just took out all of the ColourPop stuff and I have these huge boxes that I've categorized from eyeshadows, super shocks, and lips. So it's easy for my friends and family to go through and see what they want. But, but you can see I am being brutal with my declutter. Like if I haven't used it in a while, it's gotta go. What I did keep a lot of is my nine pen palettes because I just know that's something I'm going to use a lot. So I have one drawer 
for eyeshadow palettes and then the other drawers is like for lips and eyes just a mix of their other categories but I think I did a pretty good job of like really decluttering and breaking down my Colourpop collection With that massive declutter out of the way, I can finally vacuum my floor and have some room. Like, I cannot tell you how great this feels. Like, to see my floor, to see the carpet again, I have not seen this in months, guys. Like, your room and your workspace really, it just represents your mindset. And my mindset has been like my room, it's been in shambles. But after this declutter, I feel great. Like I feel like I can film again, but we're not done yet because look, we still have the other side of the room to go. A lot is here. So let's get decluttering. What I really do is just tackle it one by one. Like I think when you see such a cluttered room, it gets very overwhelming, but just work from one side and one thing one at a time. And guys, this took me over like, I'm not even kidding. It was like five weeks over a period of five weeks for me to finish decluttering. You can see my pajamas changing constantly. This was just not in one day. Like if it was one day, I would, I could not do it. And you guys will see a bit later, but I did get rid of this clothing rack out of my room. Again, this was more so for like display and aesthetics, but like I mentioned before, I need more storage as you can see. So we will get rid of that later. Um, and I'm putting more cube shelves. And I want to display my flower nose dresses and I can use this as makeup storage as well. So in the little angel cabinet, I have my Sea Beauty products. And then in the Moonlight Mermaid, I have Florette products because Florette is one of my favorite Sea Beauty brands and I want to review them more. So this is dedicated to them. And then the Chocolate Wonder Shop storage unit is going to be for all of my Judy Doll products, which I have a lot already. And then underneath that, it's a four cube shelf. Some of it is products that I want to give to friends that are brand new. The other box is like empties. It's just a better way to store more makeup and I have a lot of video ideas where I have products ready to go and I'm just sorting it out in these little boxes and it's just like more categorized. You know what I mean? It's much more easy to access um, away instead of keeping it in these boxes and like leaving them on the floor. And then we move on to like my luxury shelf. This one I didn't really do too much. It was more so just to wipe everything down, dust everything off and rearrange a little bit. And on the bottom two shelves, that's where I'm going to be keeping all of my handbags. So I kind of color coordinated all of them and I just stored them more neatly. They were just kind of a bit jumbled. I had a lot of candles and everything. So this is sort of like my luxury shelf slash my handbag storage shelf as well. We are switching the lighting a bit. This was at night time, but you can see here we are moving out the shelf and vacuuming my carpet. Honestly, guys, it feels so good. But I'm putting a six cube shelf here and I'm going to have some things displayed here, but it's still also storage as well. And then I'm going to have some floating shelves above this uh, for more display purposes, like all of my achievements and accomplishments. I think I want to display that. I was just playing around here. This is not really the final setup. You'll see it more at the end. It's not really final either because I still need more like decorative pieces. But yes, here is a reminder of the before. Like you literally cannot see the floor. Everything is everywhere. It's super cluttered. And then this is the after. There is so much space in the middle where I can film outfit videos now for my TikTok. I can do unboxings here. There's just so much more space where I can walk around and that's what I really needed. I have more storage units in my room now. I'm putting my flower nose dresses to use. There is a lot of storage in that and I feel like I have a lot of empty space as well. For the rest of the year, I do have room to put all of the new products and brands that I want to try. 
and I think overall it's just a big jump from what it looked like and I'm definitely feeling refreshed and you know like I mentioned in the beginning that this was meant to be my end of year 2023 declutter and I've only gotten around to doing it four months later so it's your sign you don't need a new year or a certain time or day to declutter and you don't have to do it all in one day take it day by day and you will feel so much more refreshed and like I've been mentioning now that I can see my floor and carpet and I can roam around and do a twirl in my room I feel more refreshed to film content I just got back from my holiday as well so I'm excited to get back into things even my cats have a room to roam around as well they're checking the whole new layout but yeah that is the declutter I'm so sorry I took so long and I do feel bad for taking such a long break but I'm back and be excited for all the new content that I am going to be filming in my very tidy room now. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!